neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 47. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 26. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other. And you could see it in the way he threw that pass. And he's taken down at the 15. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number two was the intended receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 8. That makes his turn to Touchdown, Tigers! And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 53-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. The Hokies have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's punished. That'll bring up third and four. Brought down at the 43. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. From their own 43-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Oh, 
quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. Well defended, but it's complete for good yardage. It's a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that and expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. Tackle around the 38-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The 37-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-3, Clemson. Virginia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Clemson. Holds a four-point lead. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Loss of five there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws out and through his hands. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Tackle made at the 39. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Number 27 makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That brings up second and nine. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 
The Tigers in front, 7-3. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Mike 12. Mike 12. <laughs> now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 14-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. Strike to the receiver. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 62-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 25-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackled after a decent pickup. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. it out to maybe the 43 yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it 77. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's taken down around the 42 yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. his way to the 16-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Bring him down at the one-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. And he 
tackles him hard at the three. Three-yard gain by the running back. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. And he tacks on the extra point. Clemson to kick. He'll return it from the three. Across the 30. And he shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's a deal again. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 42. Scrambling around. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Go. Go. Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to take off. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he is drilled at the 22-yard line. throw to the tight end and he's tackled at about the 13. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble! And they fall on the loose ball. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Looks middle, got his back. Brought down in the open field. The Tigers will use their first half. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. Clemson is up four. Fires that quickly, incomplete. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Virginia Tech's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but 
I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And he's tackled in the open field. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. From the 27 yard line. Second down. Slings it, and he's tackled right away. Caught out in the open. Good tackle there in space. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drop. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. He scrambled. Good open field tackle. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. It's up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He's tackled at the 20. We've played a half of football. Clemson leads it 14-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the height. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gives it left side. Tackle at the 25. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's 
pushed out of bounds at the 32. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. run up the middle. Second and five. Ball on their own 37. Out of bounds at the 42. in a short yardage situation, and it paid off. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Going to go across the middle, caught, and down he goes around the 43-yard line. Second and 13. Ball on the 46 yard line. They try the right side. He's taken down at the 38 yard line. That'll make it 35. This is the ninth play of this drive. complete he's got space to work that's a great tackle at the 29 yard line you obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well he's got good hands and you know he's good in the open field he's tackled around the 21 yard line that's good for a gain of eight yards that makes it second and two This is the 11th play of this drive. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Tackle made at the 14. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. Hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. He makes his way out to about the six. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's scrambling, and he has it on the corner. Nice move, and he scores. So the offense is going to go for two. Now he's scrambling. They got it. Virginia Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. The Hokie staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. Second and 12. 
Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 25. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 45. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Brought down the 39-yard line. Six on the draw play. So with one quarter remaining, the Hokies in front, 21-14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. him a good seven yards. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still first down. down. First and 15 now after the penalty. Very good tackle in space. Two yards there on the option keeper. rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. This is the 14th play of this drive. Steps up in the pocket. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. 
He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Well, we're over two minutes to go in the game. The offense has a chance here to secure the victory. All they have to do is pick up a first down, keep the clock moving, and be able to get out of here with a win. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Virginia Tech is up by four. He would tackle immediately. Loss of three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth and long here after the sack. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The Tigers were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimmick. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just under two to go in the game. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. to that quickly. Excellent open field tackle. Quick throw. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Makes it out to about the 19. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. It's 
stays in bounds and made a nice catch. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Under a minute left. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Clemson will have one timeout remaining. Second down and goal. Ball on the five. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 53-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Virginia Tech's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Slides down to the ground. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. First and ten. Ball on the 40. We have less than a minute to go. He's out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After, after review of the play, play the, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. He steps out at about the 45. That'll make it 35. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The Hokies are going to call their second timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's leveled at the 48-yard line. Spikes the ball. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He wants it all. What a miracle. There's no time left on the clock. the PAT. Virginia Tech to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20.
Virginia Tech staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. The staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just haven't a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.